Hi everyone, welcome to Virtual Tweak. Today's topic, Windows Desktop Customization. Today I'm going to use some freewares to customize my Windows Desktop. You can find all the software links in my web blog, which is virtualtweak.com. You can send me an email. My email address is virtualtweak at gmail.com. Before I start customizing my Windows desktop, I'm going to change the Windows boot screen and logon screen. In order to change the Windows boot screen, I'm going to use a software called Boot Skin. And uh, this is Boot Skin. It is totally free. Right now, I have four themes available to use. You can download as many as themes you want and it is totally free. To in order, uh, if you want to download uh, free themes, uh, I recommend a website called WinCustomize.com. So this is WinCustomize.com. In the gallery menu, I'm going to select Boot Skins. So these are the Boot Skins is available to download. You can uh, download as many as you want, and it is totally free. Let me show you how it will look like when you boot your Windows XP. <coughs> Select the boot skin you want and click on preview. So this is it. When you select the boot screen and uh, reboot your PC, you will see this boot screen and not the default Windows one. So this is boot screen. It is totally free. Try it out. Next one. I want to change my Windows login screen. I'm going to use a software called Logon Loader. It is totally free. Um, the same as the other one, you can install as many as login screen you want. You can download login screen from wincustomize.com. So this is wincustomize.com. In the gallery menu, click on logons download the login screen you want let me show you the screenshot of this someone created this uh, login screen for us so when you boot up it will look like this <coughs> login screen it is to login screen is totally free uh, login loader you can try it out and uh, change your login screen So I get rid of the Windows uh, boot screen and the login screen. Now I'm going to customize my desktop. If you like Mac OS 10 dock, you can have a dock for your Windows. Let me show you. The first tool I'm going to use is called Moby Dock. As you can see at the top, this is Moby Dock. You can drag and drop uh, shortcuts on the in the Moby Dock. If you want to remove a uh, item, click on the item, drag it to your desktop, it will go away. If you want to add an item, click on the shortcut, drag it to your movie dock, it will add the shortcut as an item. You can play with the settings, animation, position, stuff like that. So this is movie dock. Now I'm going to show you another tool. It is called YZ dock. And as you can see at the top, this is YZ dock. The same as the Moby Dock, you can click on the item and drag it to your desktop, it will go away. You can add an item, click on the shortcut and uh, drag it to your YZ Dock, it will add the item. You can also play with the settings, right click and choose settings and uh, you have many options, options to play with. So this is YZ Dock and uh, I'm going to show you another one and uh, I'm going to do another one and it's called RK Launcher. Let me show you. So at the right side, as you can see, this is RK Launcher. And for me, this is the best one. And uh, it just looks like Mac OS and Dock. To remove an item, click on the item, drag it to your desktop, it will go away. To add an item, click on the shortcut, drag it to your dock, it will add the item. Uh, and also you can play with the settings it has lots of settings you can play with uh, you can uh, position it to your left top right stuff like that so you have three docs you can choose from 
and for me I like the RK launcher if you don't like the dock uh, toolbar you can have a sidebar I found a great sidebar it is called desktop sidebar it is totally free you can try it out and you can download items and um, add items and uh, it's a great toolbar you can select skin and uh, download models and stuff like that check it out it is totally free it is called desktop sidebar so we get the so uh, dog or the sidebar we want for our desktop and now I'm going to add widgets in my desktop for this I'm going to use a software called Yahoo widgets you can download it from uh, the website and you, um, it is totally free it is just like the widgets from Mac OS 10 and you can download um, different kind of widgets uh, and add it to your desktop you can move your widgets and uh, customize the look and feel and it is totally free check it out Yahoo widgets so do you like 3d images 3d objects how about a 3d desktop let me show you a nice tool you can install and have a 3d desktop and I'm going to use a tool called sharp spear XP so it is spear XP I'm running right now and uh, let me launch uh, my Firefox and one more time so as you can see we can drag and drop items but if I click on the globe in the right side double click on the globe it will create a 3d desktop so I can move my window over here over here or j just like this it is a very very nice tool let me launch my windows uh, media player over here I'm going to resize the window as you can see I'm going to double click and I can have my Windows Media Player like this and uh, my Firefox window like this so it is a 3D desktop uh, it is totally free check it out and have fun do you use alt tab to um, select the window you want let me show you what I mean I'm going to open up a couple of windows over here and if I click on all uh, if I place the alt key and the tab key I can select the window I want uh, right now it is in Firefox if I select the volume window volume option it will, the volume window will come up so now I can use a software uh, freeware to do the same thing but in, in 3d view let me show you I'm going to use a software called Dex loops disk loops and uh, let me show you so I'm going to launch a disk loop as you can see <coughs> disk loop is running it is totally free I'm going to click uh, press the alt key and the right arrow to move from one window to another uh, alt key from alt key and the left arrow to left side on the right side right key to right side not only that if you move your mouse to the top window it will show you a thumbnail view of the application you are using right now so if I click on the volume the volume window will come up if I click on the Firefox the Firefox window will come up X loops is totally a uh, desktop uh, Dex loops is totally free try it out if you don't like the docs or the desktop sidebar or the 3d stuff if you want something totally different you can install uh, alternative windows shell the most popular ones are black box and light step today I'm going to show you how the light step looks like and why it is not new or why it is not new computer user friendly and uh, before you install a uh, light step make sure you back up your important data so I already installed a light step and I'm going to launch light step right now and I have to reboot my PC so hang on welcome everybody to light step as you can see it is totally different from the windows toolbar there is no start button and stuff like that and uh, light step is an alternative 
Windows shell or Explorer shell. Uh, let me show you how the program menus are and stuff like that. If you click on the left side icon, you will get some of the menus over here. On the light step menu, uh, these are all the configuration from light step and the program menu, all the software I have installed and uh, quick launch menu, system menu, log off, shutdown, run, recycle bin and the task menu, you know, the software is running right now. But if you right click on the desktop, you will get the same menu as well. File manager which is, uh, which is explorer window and the light step menu, program menu, quick launch. Uh, system task it is kind of different because you cannot move your icon like that if I click on an icon and try to move it it doesn't work and the most uh, problem thing for me was to configure light step in order to configure a light step you have to edit a text file because uh, in the light step menu if I click on if I move my mouse to utilities you can see all the text file is in all the configuration file is in text file that means you have to edit a text file to configure light step and it is not that easy you have to go to their message board and read the guide to do this stuff but if you want to look your desktop totally different than light step or black box which is another uh, window shell is uh, the way to go and um, it is a but before before you install light step make sure you back up everything so that is uh, so this is a light step as you can see and try it out if you want and uh, that's it for today's show and uh, if you you can find all the software links in my web blog which is virtualtweak.com you can send me an email my email address is virtualtweak at gmail.com um, please send me your comments suggestion if you want to share any software with us uh, feel free to do so post your comments uh, in my web blog that's it everybody thanks for watching i will see you next time